Yo, guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today's video, we're looking at Rhyperior with Meganium, the Rhyperior Mill Meganium deck. And we're going to be trying it out here in this new team up format that we have. And we're going to be seeing if this deck is any good at all right now. So, the, obviously, the idea is, is we want to use Meganium's ability Quick Griping Herb, which allows you to evolve a base Pokemon to a stage 2 the turn you play it down. You can combo this with Rhyperior's Toppling Wind. Um, which, when you play it down, you can discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. So you can really mill your opponent out. We want to chain this with Meganium and, like, Ace Rollas. And we want to be able to just do Toppling Wind every turn and just constantly discard their deck. Have a nice wall in the active, like Plume or Hoopa. And we can use Charizard Rage now to come in and clutch the wind. So there's a lot of things this deck can do. It's a very fun archetype. And isn't any good in this team-up meta is what we're going to be trying to find out today. Of course, before we get into these PCGO video, shouts out to the sponsor, Card Coverage TCG. If you guys ever need to get any PCGO codes, whether it be for team-up or, you know, pack codes, team-up, Lost Thunder, Celestial Storm. If you guys also need any GX codes, EX box codes for, like, Jolteon GA, Melmetal, Whale, or Carp or anything. Or you just need Elite Trainer Boss codes. You want to try and get yourselves that Jirachi promo card. Um, Card Coverage TCG is the place to get PCGO codes. And, of course, when you buy something from Card Coverage TCG, you can use discount code code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. And, yeah, pretty nice, pretty nifty. Shout out to Card Coverage TCG, man. And now we're going to be looking at the deck. So, yeah, this is just a really awesome way to mill and uh, play mills. So, Rhyperior has the ability to top wind, of course. Um, chain this with Meganium every turn. That's the goal. And um, the nice thing about this deck is we can also use Ace Rollas and Rainbow Energy, which allows us to constantly reuse our Rhyperior. So we can Rainbow Energy the Rhyperior, and then we can Ace Roll the Rhyperior back into our hand. Um, and that's the idea here, to kind of get this thing off the board. It's an easy Guzma target. We notice we only play one Rhyperior, we don't play two. One thing that this list um, I struggled with was finding room for cards. There's, this is a very tight deck. There's so many things that go into this deck to make it fun and playable. Um, this was a kind of a tight end space deck. But the Rhyperior is really nice with the Ace Roller Loop, and that's the goal of the deck. We're just going to be trying to mill them with Toppling Wind. We can come in with Charizard GX, raging out with um, the Super Boost Energy, allows you to discard the top 10 cards of your opponent's deck. So if you play Toppling Wind and Charizard in the same turn, you're discarding the top 13 cards of your opponent's deck, which is really scary and dangerous. Like, that is insane. Um, so Charizard comes in, Toppling Wind some, or not Toppling Wind, raging out some with Super Boost Energy, and that's one of the strategies of this deck, is with Charizard and Rhyperior. So Charizard's a really nice addition in here. There's a lot of other Pokemon in this deck to support. Obviously, Meganium's one of them. Swampert's also good in here, too, with Power Draw. Um, drawing your cards is really good. Finding room for a third line was really hard to do, by the way. Um, another nice thing is going to be Vileplume. Now, Vileplume was played in the original Rhyperior Meganium deck. I think there was, like, Mr. Mime and Shuckle and Suicune in the deck also. Um, but I think Vileplume is really valuable in this deck now with the fact that Vileplume's being a very deadly card right now in standard since there's a lot of basic and this deck could get better in Unbroken Bonds when we're going to be getting a lot more basic Pokemon that are going to be really good. A lot of the new tag teams of course. Um, so Vileplume might get a lot better uh, but Vileplume is really good. You know if you stick it up against Zapdos what do they do? The only thing they can then get around with is Guzma. Now there is one Pokemon that I do really want to run in here but I could not find room and that is going to be Kabutops. I think Kabutops in this deck is really OP. Um, one thing you can do with Kabutops is Countercatcher or Guzma up something on their bench with a big retreat cost, stick Kabutops in the active spot, and they can't play any supporter cards when it's in their active. So the only way they can get around this Kabutops is by KOing it, which is really good because then they can't Guzma up your Meganium to try and disrupt you. They can't Guzma up Rhyperiors, even though you never want to have the Rhyperior on your bench anyways. But you get my point, right? They can't Guzma up your Meganiums to disrupt you. They can't Guzma up your Swampert's. So this is why the Kabutops, I think, is a really valuable card in here. But for, oh man, it really sucks. I could not find any room for this Kabutops at all. Everything in this deck goes really well in here. I just couldn't find room for the one more Kabutops. And you can use Kabutops with Meganium. The Fossil card does work with Quick Ripening Herb. So it really does suck. I do want to put Kabutops in here, man. I just can't find space for it. I think Vileplume's really good. I don't want to take that out. I don't want to take out the Hoopa or the Ninetales. Um, the only thing I'd consider is maybe the Super Scoop Ups. Um, and again, we do have like... Uh, I am playing the two Rhyhorn where I appear, and yeah, we have Gladian, so it's not a big issue to prize Rhyhorn. And this deck can win also by stalling your opponent out with Ninetales and Hoopas, by the way, and Ace Rollas and Lucimines. And again, Hoopa and Ninetales are in here, just walls you can stick up. You can play Shuckle with Mr. Mime GX2 if you want. Uh, one Lele, of course, for Wonder Tag. 
but uh, yeah, that's it for the Pokemon, man. Then we go into the items. One Counter Catcher. Counter Catching something up can also give you a few turns to be able to do a couple toppling wins until they get out of the active. I am playing the Lookers Engine with two Lookers Whistle and four Lookers. The Lookers Engine is really good with Meganium and Swampert. Uh, three Nest Balls, of course, put stuff down. Two Pokecoms. This is something you can get away with, like, four of because you play 23 Pokemon in this deck. That is a lot of Pokemon. So you can play Pokemon Communications. Um, you can maybe even play four of them and maybe cut the Nest Balls all together. It's up to you. Three Rare Candies. Uh, we don't need four. Again, this deck's really kind of space, but most of us I found we're playing three. But three Candies is all you need. Once you get Meganium down, you got two Meganiums down and you're golden. Once Stretch, we get our Pokemon back. There is a really good supporter in here that I think this deck also could run. Two Super Scoop Ups. Man, a lot of the original list was playing like two scoop ups. It's a really cool card. It allows you to reuse Rhyperior. You can also get back like your Lele. Um, you can also get back Nine Tails. Uh, but the thing with scoop up is it's on a coin flip. And I really could see this card getting cut for a few other things. Again, you can cut this for the Kabutops. You can also cut this uh, maybe for extra Pokemon Communications. Or you can cut it for another supporter card that I want to talk about in just a minute. Four Ultra Balls, of course. Now onto the supporters. Just one Cynthia, three Lily, four Looker, one Erica for the draw. I would consider cutting Erica though altogether. It's just a really good card to draw cards with. Now the tech supporters. Three Ace Rolla. Again, with Rainbow Energy and Ace Rolla, you're constantly able to put Rhyperior back into your hand. Um, Galadian's really good if you prize something, specifically your boost energy or your Rhyperior, because I only play one in the deck. One copy of Guzma to bring something up. Three Lilies, of course. And I am playing two Lusamines. We are going to be doing a Lusamine loop in this deck with Ace Rolla, so that we're going to be constantly able to loop Rhyperior over and over again and just keep spamming toppling wins. So that is why Ace Rollas and Lusamines are so good. And Lusamine gets you back your uh, Cynthia, which can be useful if you're going to be in a situation where you're both going to try and stall. Now there is one supporter that I think is really good in this deck. That is going to be Brock's Grid. Um, Brock's Grid I think is really good in here. Um, because with Brock's Grid, you're going to be always able to get your Pokemon back. So if they ever do knock out your Rhyperior, if they ever, if you ever have to like power draw away a certain Pokemon like a Charizard or a Charmander, you can Brock's Grid them back into the deck. And you can constantly get this back with Lusamine. This is why I think Brock's Grid is a great one of in here. And I really do want to play it. I do regret not playing it. I already recorded the match, which I only did one game for today's video, by the way, guys. Um, but Brock's Grid, I think, is great in this deck also. One Super Boost Energy for Charizard. Uh, two rainbows. Uh, one reason why I'm playing two. One, because you prize a rainbow and you prize a pure in the same game. You can't do double Galadian. Also, having the two rainbows does allow me to maybe even like attack with like, um, I don't know, like nine tails or something crazy. If you ever need to use a rainbow, you can attack. But two rainbows is really good. Also, better odds of finding it when you need it the most to Ace Rolla. And that's it for the right pure Meganium list. I'm really happy to try this deck out. So see you guys in the match. All right, guys. See what we could go do with Rhyperior Meganium. We'll see if we're able to get some spicy games with it. I am pretty excited to try this deck out. I do think this deck is potentially pretty good. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see what we play against. Just looking for a good match. All right, so we're going to get into a game here against Billy Young. He's playing, ooh, Water Dragon Psychic. I don't know what to expect. This might be a uh, Quagsire deck. I don't know. We'll see. Having Dragon in the deck is interesting, to say the least. Dragon is what throws me off. Alright, let's see what we start with here. Hoopa, perfect. Uh, we do have a Looker, which is good, so we can at least do Looker's Whistle to kind of get us out of this tough hand. I'm not going to play the Charmander down. We could save that for we could save that for Pokemon Communication. We got Chikorita or Vulpix. So we start with a Jirachi. Okay, we'll see. And a Treasure. Gets rid of Psychic, so it's a Mali deck. Alright. Don't know what the water type is in his deck, though. Um, that's the thing that throws me off, is he has a water type in his deck. Unless I'm just forgetting something. I don't really know what water type he's playing. Let's get rid of another Ultra Ball. Get rid of a Choice Band, which is good. Alternate Krosma is not bad, I guess. We'll see how we pair against Malamar. He is playing a lot of basics, so Vileplume could be really clutch here. He'd have to attack with Malamar, which could be good. At least Hoopa can't be KO'd right away, which is good. So we might buy some time with Hoopa. Oof! No supporter for my opponent! That is pretty rough, and that's really good. Which buys me an extra turn. Alright, what do we draw? Another Ace Roller. Perfect. So we'll Pokemon Communication away. Charmander. Um, do we have Lele? Yeah, we do. I think we just play Lele here for Lily. 
It's only gonna be four cards. But whatever, you know what, I'll take it. I could Looker's Whistle, but I think I have to get the cards. If I didn't have to get the Lookers, I wouldn't play. So Lily for four. Hopefully we hit some Chikoritas. No, we did get Vulpix though, which is good. We have Looker's Whistle. I think I'll hold on to it. We'll just pass. So my opponent probably will get a Lily here, or a Cynthia, or an Erika's Hospitality. We'll have to see though. Okay, they drew an Erika's. That's fine. They're only drawing four cards anyway, so it's not even that good for them. There's a Ditto. Okay, so this, I still think it's Ultra Squids. I don't think he's playing like Aerodactyl or anything. I think the Ditto is just for the fifth in case. Getting Nestle. He's probably going to go for Alternate Crosma. That's my best guess. Does he have any energy in the discard? He does. No, he's playing Latios Latias. Okay. So we need Viral Plume ASAP, even though Hoopa can't be damaged. And he's even building it up too, which is interesting. There's a Scoop up. Uh, so I can bring Lele back. I might do. This hand is pretty terrible. <laughs> Outside of Lookers. With okay, we'll, we'll try to get the Lele back. I think we just reset the hand. Honestly, I think we just... Re I could also Guzma here and bring out Alolan Vulpix. Maybe that's better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think this is better. We won't have Hoopa in the active, but that's fine. This thing still can't kill me if it's on the bench, so it's like, whatever. I think we do this. We have to go full picks. And we'll beacon for Chikorita, and... I don't think I'll get knocked out, so I'm going to get a little Nine Tails. Now we'll get Swampert and a little Nine Tails. Wish I had a Chikorita in play. That's fine, though. I'm gonna bank on the fact that Alolan Vulpix survives the turn. We'll see if he knocks me out. He's only got three cards in his hand still, so that's good. So he's gonna retreat. He's got two energy in the discard. One of them's a water. There's a lily for five. Rip. He's already retreated though, so Vulpix should be safe. I don't want to play too many GXs down because he could win the game with Guzma around my Hoopa and then knock me out. Again, we don't have any Rhyperiors set up yet, or Charizard, so we don't really have the perfect combo going. Which I wish we did. I just wish we had more in play. I might even just try and scoop up the Ninetales or the Lele and just get him off the board. So we don't have too many GXs in play. Because one way he can win is with three Guzmas. So I just gotta watch out. He's gonna get rid of a Jirachi. I might, yeah, I might just try and avoid any Charizards this game, too. I could Rainbow Energy uh, Ace Roll of this thing. If I have, like, a nice turn where I'm not doing anything. He could knock me out, but again, he's already attached from his hand onto his in case. I think we're safe. I think we get one extra turn. He might do arrow unit with... No, nope, can't mind. He doesn't have a switch. Hey! Okay, that's a really good draw. I don't even have to play nine kills down now. Uh, which is really good. So, Looker's Whistle. Uh, power draw. Probably just away the air because fatality. Maybe the Ace Roller would be better. Still can't find any Chikoritas, though. That's pretty bad. We'll look her first. Okay, we got Ultra Ball. Finally, we can get Chikorita going. We'll get rid of Gladian and Lily. We'll get the Chikorita. I do think Vileplume could be useful here, too. Then uh, this way, like, Giratina can't damage me. I think we just Beacon again. We will get Meganium and Rhyhorn. Okay, we're going to be able to get the setup here as long as it doesn't, like, judge me. So this is pretty good. Okay, he's going to attach. He probably has a Guzma. He might knock out my Chikorita, which is pretty annoying. We'll see if he hits the Guzma. Ah, oh, Pastella Wish! Don't hit the Guzma. He hit the Guzma. What is he going to knock out? He could actually target Swampert. Please don't do Chikorita. You son of a nun. Alright, well, we have Stretcher, so it's fine. Sorry, guys. I hate that when you hover over a card, it zooms in on it. I mean, it's, I guess it's fine, but it's still, it's like annoying. So he KOs my Chikorita. Little annoying, not gonna lie. I'm gonna take that pretty personally. Uh, we'll bring out Hoopa. There's Oddish. So we'll Stretcher the Chikorita back. That slows us down by one turn. 
unfortunately. Looker. Ooh, nice ball. Can't play it though. Um, yeah, I can't really play anything here. I think we just get rid of tough decisions. Maybe just the nine tails. I don't think I'm gonna need this guy anymore. Thing is, though, once we do, once we get rid of Pokemon, we can't get him back. We played our stretcher. I think Brock's grit could be kind of fun in here too, <laughs> just so you can constantly get Pokemon back with these with this mean. Yeah, I actually don't know what to power draw. I think I have... Yeah, I think the Ninetales can go. I don't think we'll ever need it. I honestly don't think he's going to get, 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 get rid of this hand anytime soon. There's Vileplume. Alright, well... I'm just going to pass. And I'm going to say he doesn't have a knockout again. He could, though. There's no way this guy's going to knock me out again, though. I don't feel another Guzma coming. This is why I really like the Kabutops, because you get Guzma me. It's going to Ultra Ball. That's going to get him a third Malamar. But the nice thing is, he can't damage my Hoopa. And if we get Vileplume in play, he's going to also still be back in, back to square one. But to be fair, he only does 40 my Hoopa. And with Ace Rolla, we can like Ace Rolla, Vileplume, loop the Malamar and win the game. So we could literally win by maybe stalling him out. This, I gotta, this is why I don't want to play too many GXs down. I don't want him to take that many prize cards. He might just do arrow unit, which I think he's going to do. No, he's going to retreat. I mean, he has triple Malamar. If he hits another Guzma here, I'm actually going to cry. I think I can still try and get a Chikorita down, but jeez, this guy's going to Guzma. But to be fair, he's not guzma my GXs up, which might be worse for him. Because again, we could win by stalling him out with Hoopas. So we'll see. I really hope he doesn't have a Guzma here, though. Stellar Wish. Will it find my opponent a Guzma? 22 cards, top... Five cards. Will it be a Guzma? And I doubt he's playing any more than three. Okay, good. Nice. He's gonna Cynthia though. So I'm kind of surprised he he could have done Arrow Unit too if he really wanted to. Whatever though. Nice thing is though he doesn't have any room for any um. He has no room for any Giratinas. So like he's kind of just coasting off a of Malamar. So again, we could win by stalling him out with Vile Plume. Maybe I just gotta watch if I get decked out. Alright, just gonna wake up. Alright, we finally get the train rolling. Finally can get somewhere. Which is good. He might knock out Rhyperior though, which is pretty bad. I think I just have to ace roll it here. So play down the Rhyperior. Mill the top three cards of his deck. Ooh, a switch. I was hoping we could hit a Guzma there. And I am going to Ace Rolla my Rhyperior, so it's not on the board. I'm thinking of getting another Meganium, a Chikorita down, and then I can, I can at any point just Rainbow Energy Ace Rolla it back in my hand. We have our Lucimines, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll Power Draw. Uh, what do I get rid of? Probably just... Swampert? I don't even know if I really need to use Swampert anymore anyways. I'm looking for Lucimine though, just to set up the loop. Okay, we didn't get it. We did get Looker's Whistle though. Might as well burn it. I don't want to deck myself out too bad, but again, we, as long as we're right period chaining, we're fine. Plus we have Cynthia. We can shuffle our whole hand back in. But a deck like this, I do think could honestly use Brock's Grit. Or even, um... Brock's Grit the only way to get Pokemon back from the discard pile? Oh, he had a Guzma, so he's probably going to take out Meganium, that's fine, this is why I put the Chikorita down. So, if he does take a prize this turn, we can still do Meganium, and if we don't, we can always Ace Rolla, Rainbow Energy, return it to our hand. I probably would have returned the Lele to my hand. That's fine, though. He'll knock me out, which, you know, whatever, doesn't really bother me. Actually, you know what? One, two, three. We win the game. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind, if we had Charmander in play, we'd win. What am I saying? Can we win? We used our Guzma. Hmm. Maybe not. I was going to say, we could win. The, have we, we have our other scoop up, right? Hmm. We might actually win here. He's only got nine cards left. Yep, knock out the Meganium. That's fine. The nice thing is he's not using his Guzmas to knock out my GXs. 
Especially now when I put Vile Plume in the act, it's gonna be even worse for him. Um, okay, if we can... Is it possible to win this turn? I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. <clears throat> it might be, I don't know. Might as well play you now. That's our last for a candy, I guess, something to know. But, um... Looker. No, I think, no, we gotta keep the Ace Loop alive. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not even gonna bother going for the Charizard play this turn. We'll do another turn, I guess. Discard the top three cards of this deck. Nice. We hit some big cards there. Get rid of the Ultra Ball. I'm looking for Lucimine. Ooh, we got Counter Catcher. And there's Scoop Up. Okay. We just need Charmander, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. We just need Charmander. And what we can do is we can scoop up the Hoopa. I was thinking of playing the Energy on, like, Layla or something, so I have a free retreat cost, so I can try Charizard. Maybe I should do that next turn. I still think we can win, though. He's low on Guzmas. I, he's not playing Pal Patch, so, like... The good thing, too, is he has no room for any... Yeah, he's got... Quad Malamar is usually scary in any other situation, but it doesn't matter because Hoopa can't really be damaged by Malamar. And it looks like he's forced to try and deal with it. He doesn't have access to Guzma here. And as long as we can find our Charmander, we should be able to win the game next turn. I want to go out with a Raging Out, so I want to see what we can do. Only problem is if I go for this play and hit Tails on Scoop Up, we're not going to be able to win. So it's really risky. Still a wish. This could find him Guzma, which it does. So he's probably going to knock out my Meganium again, which is probably... That's my second last Meganium, right? Yeah, that's fine. I still have one Meganium, one Chikorita left. Again, I don't think we can lose anymore, so I think we're good to win the game. Can I actually counter catch the Lele up and win? I might be able to do that. I think I'll try. But yeah, I think we win here. It's gonna Malamar, uh, Lusamine. Get back you. Get back you. We just pass. He does. He could have four Guzmas, but he can't win the game anymore. Like, there's nothing on board he can knock out. I do wish I could get rid of Lele, though. So I might just ace roll with my Lele next turn just to get it out of harm's way. So he's played set uh, four Psychics. He's played like nine. Yeah, I think I think we can win literally by just keep bringing out Malamars. He's not gonna have enough energy to treat them all. He's played two of his switches. Is he playing any more than two? We'll see. He's got six psychics in play. One water. Three. So he's got four waters. Seven psychic energies have been used. I don't think he has any more than that yet. I think he just sees the writing on the wall. Um, I think he sees writing on the wall. All right, we're just gonna get you out of the board, so he can't take two prizes out of nowhere. We just pass. So we win by stalling him out. We have Cynthia. Yeah, he's gonna try and Cynthia me. That's fine. Won't work. So we get our other Lusamine. We can get back Lusamine and probably the Ace Rolla or Gladian. Actually, yeah, I think I'll lose me for Gladian. I might need it. Again, I think he's out of energy. We'll we'll win by decking him out because we have infinite access to Cynthia's. We can also just keep bringing stuff back off our board with Rainbow Energy. He's gonna stretch here. That doesn't really help him though. He's gonna be able to put some stuff back in his deck, but it's not gonna save him in the long run. We're looking for this Lucifer. I hope we don't get it when we have zero cards left in our deck, so we have to do Cynthia in the same turn. So I do want to get my Gladian back, so I want to be able to Gladian. I may have prized a Chikorita piece. Uh, 
And even if he damages me, again, we have the Ace Rollos. I can also Guzma. Up. I just keep bringing out Malamars. The only thing he can knock out efficiently is Swampert with this thing. There's Charmander. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried here that I'm not going to hit this Lusamine. There we go. Just in the nick of time. We do Glady next turn. If I prize the Chikorita, we'll grab it. It's good timing, too, because we have an extra turn for the, the Gladian. Oh, we prize both? Oh, rip. So we have to win by decking him out, essentially. That's fine. What would we need? Probably just the Chikorita. Might as well take it. Maybe bait him out. I don't know. Dang it. Gladian goes in the prizes, too. That's fine. Again, I think we win anyways. He's probably going to run out of Cynthia's before we do. There's Ace Rolla, which is perfect. We could definitely use Ace Rolla. We don't have any rare candies left, so we can't rare candy for Hyperior anymore. We're not going to be able to get enough stage 2s and play to even Charizard, so we have to win by just straight up stalling him out here. We're just going to keep passing. We have Ace Rolla, so as long as he doesn't damage me, we can constantly Ace Rolla loop our Hoopa here. He's not going to do much, only 40 damage anyway, so it's not like he's pounding me. And that's game. We won by decking him out, not with Rhyperior, but with Hoopa. That's really good. That was a really nice showcase of the deck. Um, oh, he didn't even play Giratina. So the only way he could damage my non-GX Pokemon was with Starmie. But Starmie's kind of nice because he'd only be doing 20 damage to my Hoopa. So we would take 6 hits from this thing. Not to mention, he would only do 40 to my Ninetales. So that's really good. So I think this game was winnable. How many Guzmas did he have? Did he have three? Yeah, he only had three. So really, I think what gave us the game there was just he ran out of Guzma. Uh, but that was a great match. That was a great game. Uh, we got two team-up packs to open up for you guys. But that was basically what the deck is all about. You see, you bring out your walls. You just try and mill them with the Rhyperior Meganium Loop. And that's basically all the deck does, man. That's all, that's all Rhyperior... Meganium is all about. Um, we didn't get to deck him out with Rhyperior. Essentially, Rhyperior was able to allow us to deck him out, though, because we were able... Because we had to... The, the thing is, we had to thin through most of our deck. So, by the fact that we were able to Rhyperior thin his deck out a little bit more before we could, because discarding three cards is the same as drawing three. Ooh, we got a Nido Queen. That's pretty bad, actually. I already have a full play set. Essentially, drawing three with Swampert... It's the same as discarding three for him. So, in a way, we're tying ourselves. But Rhyperior was still able to mill him out of winning. Right, we got a Bisharp. We got a Bronzor. Yeah, nothing great in this pack. I'm tempted to open up another one. It's really tempting, but I don't... I, I gotta stop being tempted to do that. I got a bunch of other brand packs I don't want to open up. But uh, I think I might just wrap up the video here, guys. Another short one. I actually gotta go to class in half an hour. I don't know if I have enough time to record. I know it's an excuse. But honestly, guys, this is a really fun archetype can it work in this new format that we're in um yeah i think so i think this deck can still work i think vile plume is a really strong card in here because of all the basics uh maybe this deck gets stronger because vile plume is going to be better against the new tag team meta re in the next set what would i change about this list though if i were to change anything i might take out the ericas uh, maybe throw in a fourth lily maybe throw in a second cynthia maybe um because if you're, ever, if you're ever in a deck out war like that, you know, you need Cynthia to save you. Uh, the one thing that I would 100% try and add in here um, is Brock's Grit. Brock's Grit is great in here because you can constantly get your Pokemon back with Lusamine. Um, it's better than just the one stretcher. The only problem is what do you remove? There's just so much going on in here. Maybe take out a Rainbow Energy. But the problem is if you prize too many good Pokemon, you can't Gladian infinitely in the game unless you play like two of them. Um, so I don't know. I really do like this deck though. I think the Lookers engine's really strong. I think um, the Lusamine loop with Ace Rolla is just invincible. Um, 
I don't know. I would like to try out Kabutops in here because with Kabutops, it allows... Um, Kabutops protects your bench, so they can't Guzma up Meganium. They can't Guzma up the Rhyperior. Um, even though Rhyperior, most of the time, you never want it on your board anyways. But they can't Guzma, like, around, um, your stuff. So they can't, like, bring a Vile Plume when they need to. They can't... Really importantly, they just can't knock out your Meganiums or your Swampers. But the problem with Kabutops is it can still be attacked. So I don't really know how good it is. But, like, you can Counter Catcher or Guzma... Um, something up and then Kabutops stall them so they can't bring out Meganium. So I think Kabutops is a really good card in this deck also. You can use Kabutops with the Fossil card and Meganium. It does work. Fossils do work with Meganium. Other than that though, don't know what I would change. We didn't get to use Raging Out. We could have won the game with Raging Out. If I set up the game a bit more better, I think we could have won with Raging Out. Whatever, though, it's fine. I think this deck is still really strong. It's fun to play. I might revisit the Meganium Ninja deck really soon. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. I know just one game, but... The game was perfect. Showed off what the deck is aiming to do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe to Helm the Road to 5,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed, again, help me reach 5K subscribers. I'll see you guys in another PCGO video. Hope you enjoyed. And peace out. And check out Cardcaver TCG, guys. Code LDF.